Hey guys, Auto Fanatic. I'm going to do a video. Um, I just finished washing my GT350, and I got to say, probably thousands of people have emailed me uh, since I started my channel on how do I apply the Colonite 915, um, you know, after the, the paint is prepped and ready to roll. So, in a lot of instances, I email everybody back. I tell them how to do it. They email me a few weeks later, tell me how they're blown away. I'm getting pictures from people all over the world, uh, and it's really cool that people are following my advice and getting you know the really good results that I'm getting uh, for many years. So, in a lot of cases, you have to make sure your paint is contaminant-free by the means of clay. Usually, when you clay the car, you're going to have to do a paint correction on the car, and then you will go into your sealant and wax. But in my case, I don't do any kind of sealants or anything like that. I just Make sure the paint is perfectly clean. Um, nothing sticks to my car with the 915, so I never had to really clay it, uh, except last year one time uh, from being under a sap tree, I had to do the hood and the roof, but other than that, uh, the car doesn't need to be clayed. That's just because the contaminants, the debris, the pollen, nothing sticks to the paint. This stuff is amazing, okay? I know a lot of you guys out there want me to test other products and all of this, but to be honest with you, when you have a product that you've used for over 20 years, you kind of stick with it. I personally prefer the paste versus the insulator wax. Uh, that's just my preference. I feel that this just works better and just gives a little bit more depth of color, especially on blue cars, black, and reds. Uh, this is great. So what I have on, on my hood right now, I have the Griot's Garage dual weave wax removal towels. If you go back on my channel, you'll see a video I shot on these. These are the yellow Meguiar's soft foam wax applicators. This is pretty much the wax applicator of choice that I use. All the other ones seem to be a little dense, um, a little big. You know, I have the one with the handle. I just don't like the way that feels. I, I really like this because it's very easy to manipulate and get into the contours and undercuts of the body and everything else. And then I have a small bottle of Chemical Guys VO7 full strength, no dilution in a small Chemical Guys spray bottle. And before I apply it to the panel, I always miss the pad and it just helps the wax and everything flow out a little bit better and stops the pad from getting gunked up and uh, having the wax dry up as you're going through the process of the car. Also, you got to make sure the surface of the paint is warm, not hot. Don't do this in direct sunlight and you cannot wait too long as you do it to remove it. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a hard time to get it off. But the trick to getting it off, if you do make a mistake and you wait too long, is just go and apply a second coat, count to about 60 and then go and wipe it off. So that's just my little trick in case you guys out there have run into a problem with that. So we're going to do my whole car. The back of the car is in direct sun right now, so in about an hour, that's probably going to tone down. But we're going to do the demo on the driver's side fender right here, and then I'm going to just walk you through it and show you how I apply it in the, in the motion I apply it and how I take it off. And you guys uh, should you know, take some tips and try it out, and I think you're going to be blown away. But this is the stuff to get, the Colonite 915. Chemo Guys VO7, the Meguiar's yellow wax applicators, and these Griot's Garage dual weave wax removal towels. So let me move the camera around. I'm going to get on my uh, creeper seat here, and we're going to get set up for you. All right, guys, so we're all set up, and I got my 915 ready. And being that it's a warm day, it's going to be really a lot easier to get this stuff to flow. And I'll show you guys here. I got my Meguiar's yellow pad, and I just give it a quick missed. That's it. And what I usually do is I load up the foam pad really well. Now I usually go in a side to side motion and that's just a habit of being in a body shop and painting cars and everything else is that when you paint the car you're not painting a car with a spray gun in a circular pattern. You're going side to side. Uh, that's just the way it's done. Now when you get near the plastic, take your time, and with these pads, it's super easy to cut in. And if you want, you could um, to mask it off, but if you're careful, like I am, and you get used to the process, and just make sure you get a nice even coverage. And then you can go over it if you miss a spot, and that's it. So you can't get easier than that, guys. And I'm gonna get the camera closer. So you guys can maybe see, you can see the haze. You see how it's applied in even overlapping strokes right there. So as that's flashing off, I'm gonna actually go and I'm gonna do the driver's side door mirror. And then after that's done, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna 
remove this. So I'm letting the camera run, and this is in real time. So realistically, you could do your car, if you're patient and not rushing, in probably 45 minutes if the car is prepped and doesn't need the paint correction, doesn't need to be clayed uh, after you do your wash. And I did a coat of Colonite 915 at the beginning of March. Now uh, we're going into the middle of June, so I, you know, like I said, why not just throw another layer on it? It'll just help with the pollen and everything else uh, come off the car. So that's that. Now there's there's two weaves of this towel, and I usually use two of them to do the entire car. As as you're starting to do, once you get to like the trunk area and the quarter panel, it's going to start to load up a little bit. And another little tip to tell you guys, if you get the wax in the seams over here, in the body lines, just open up the door and I'll show you a trick that I use. So I have an arsenal of nylon wedges and what I end up doing, I just wrap the towel like that and I'm able to go into the seam all the way down and get all of that residue out from inside the jams. So don't worry about that, it's really easy. This stuff's not gonna cause any problems. And uh, here we go. So we're going to get this off. Okay, make one pass, flip the towel. I mean, it's a piece of cake. A lot of people complain that this is hard to do, but it's just the preparation and the microfiber that you're using is what's going to make it go a lot easier. That's it. That's pretty much, you're done. Now, if you guys miss anything, and you get any smudges, take a little VL7, like that, and still use the same towel, and that'll just give you a nice uniform finish if you have any smudges or an area that flashed a little bit too long and you missed it on the first pass, that's the technique that I use. So I'm going to move the camera and uh, we're going to show you the hood. A lot of guys were asking about Colonite 915 on the Shelby GT350 stripes. I put it right over the stripes and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Alright guys, we're back. So now we're on the front hood of the GT350. Just a little tip that I'll give you guys. Don't wax the entire hood of this car or any car in one shot. Break it up into two to four quadrants. Uh, the reason I tell you that is just because you don't want to have it sit cured and flashed too long on one side while you go and do the other side. Then you're just going to go through hell trying to get it off. So what I usually do, believe it or not, in this car that it has the stripes, I split the hood in half and then sometimes I'll split it into quadrants and I use the stripes as a guide. So you could actually just visually do it by eye as far as where your body is resting almost against the front fender and how far your arm is for reach. So in my case, I could get to the middle of the hood. And that's just a reference all the way through of how we're going to do this. So let's get started. Now, panel per panel, you don't need to use the VO7 on the Meguiar's yellow wax pad all the time. Only when you start to feel it get a little dry, but right now I can feel it. It's loaded up really well. And then the same process. And I'm covering the stripe right to the middle. Okay. Get some more on that, on that pad. And just back and forth motions. And if you see any debris from the trees or anything that flies on your car, just a tip, don't wax over it. Make sure you blow it, because you will scratch the car if it's dried up leaves or something that could cause a scratch. And that's it. So now we got the hood completely covered from the middle all the way down, including the stripe. Uh, I actually missed up here. I forgot to hit this. Right down to the middle. 
Now, you're going to have a tendency to want to jump over to the other side. Uh, just word of advice, just wait it out. You know, wait a couple of minutes. I'll let the, uh, the camera elapse and I'll edit this in, in post. And uh, as I start looking at the 915 Haze, that's when I'm going to grab my Griot's PFM wax removal towel. We're just going to knock it off and move on. Now, a lot of guys were asking about the edges of the stripes. If you guys could see, I'll zoom in. I have no issues with the edges of the stripes at all. There's no wax residue. There's no lifting. There's no defects from power washing the smack out of this car for a year, several times a week. Uh, and most of those times were with a uh, 3100 PSI gas power washer. It's all in the technique. It's all how you hold the wand and how you adjust your spray so you don't get under the stripe and cause it to lift and become uh, an issue for you guys. So I know a lot of guys were having issues with the stripes and getting them warranted and all that, but a lot of that could be prevented with uh, a little bit better care and a little bit better technique. So just wanted to show you guys, after a year, there's no issues anywhere on my car with the stripes. So I'll zoom the camera back out. Now being that the hood is such a large panel, what I'll do in this particular case, I hit the PFM towel with a, little, with a little V07. And that just helps the wax come off a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, like, I mean, this is a piece of cake. And then you flip the towel. And you're gonna wanna have good light to see what you're doing. And right now is the perfect time because the sun is out. But I could see every little bit of residue and haze. I'm gonna flip the towel again. Flip it again. So you're gonna keep flipping it. Man, the freaking shine looks freaking incredible. This stuff is incredible. This is the best wax you're gonna get. And it's only about $40, guys. And you can pick all this stuff up on Amazon and get it in two days and try it. And if you do, please send me photos because I love seeing the results of the before and after. And a lot of you guys do that on Instagram. And you guys email me direct. And uh, a lot of you guys are starting out and doing professional detailing and you know your customers are loving it because you're switching products and you're getting away from the cheap stuff with all the fillers. You're starting to use some really good stuff. So that's it. And then I'll give it a little mist of the VL7 again. And this will just make sure that there's no residue. Because the Colonite 915, it's got a very high Carnuba content. And you really have to go over it in the removal phase. Otherwise, you are going to see smudges on a sunny day. Right now, the driver's side of my hood is flawless. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side. So I hope some of these tips help you guys. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking me how to do the 915 application in the prep. Just make sure your surface is clean. If it needs to be clayed, clay it with the 3M Professional, Meguiar's Professional Clay. Use the VO7 as your lubricant. This stuff is outstanding. I use it for claying. I use it for color sanding. This stuff is amazing. Um, I wish it wasn't so expensive, but one day I'll most likely come out with my own product that I'll probably rival that and hopefully be a little bit cheaper to produce. But uh, another thing too, if, the thing, if your paint needs paint correction, do it. Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't use the liquid cheap stuff, uh, the waxes or spray waxes. Take your time. Do a coat of the 915. It's going to last it's gonna make your maintenance washes so much better. It's gonna eliminate your agitation. It's gonna eliminate bugs sticking to the paint. It's gonna eliminate pollen, sap, everything sticking to the paint. Uh, if you're diligent with your upkeep, you can literally blast through your washes in 10 to 15 minutes without even pulling out a bucket, microfiber mitt, wash mop, whatever, because your paint is not gonna let the contaminants stick to it. You could pretty much just hit it with the power washer, use the VO7 as a drying aid with the PFM drying towel, and call it a day and that's pretty much what I do over the summer uh, when there's a lot of dust and pollen from the trees from the months of May to the end of June but uh, and if you get any debris that flies from the sky whether it's dirt 
dried leaves, any kind of bird droppings, don't wax over it. Make sure you get it off the paint. You don't want to contaminate your pad. If your pad gets contaminated, get another one. Don't try to clean it out. Just get another one. These things are cheap and uh, throw it out. And that's it, guys. So hope you like this uh, short little demo of how I do the Colonite 915. Do panel per panel. Um, split up the hood into two quadrants or four quadrants, depending on what's easier for you. Same thing with the roof. Uh, the trunk, you could do that in one shot on most cars. And then do the doors. If it's a sedan, I do the top half of the door and then I do the bottom half of the door. Um, either which way, whatever's more comfortable for you and you know, just pick up a pace and see what's more comfortable for you guys. And once you guys get a hang of it, you're gonna knock this stuff out. Uh, you could do this, you could do it every month. You could do it several times a year. Um, I usually do it six times a year just because I like to keep up with the car. And the little bit of time you put into doing this, the easier it's gonna be week after week after week of washing your car and taking care of your car when it rains, when it snows, when you have pollen, you know, whatever. So see you guys soon. Any questions, comments, post it below. Autofanatic at yahoo.com. I'll post links to all the stuff that I use in the video. Please send me before and afters. I'd love to see your work. And uh, you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out anytime. Autofanatic at yahoo.com. Take care.